I'm now joined on the sports mix by the Spring Mills football head coach, Marcus Law. Coach Law, congratulations on a another win to you and your team, improving to 3-0, and staying perfect on the year as well with a third straight shutout win, this time over South Hagerstown, 51 to nothing. Just tell us a little bit about that game. Well, I mean, it was honestly an opportunity to go out there again and put a put a product out there. Um, we had some things that kind of leaned the way that we wanted to. Uh, just based off watching film, we figured in certain formations, certain situations, they would be in something that kind of put our guys in a better situation. Uh, super proud of those guys going out there. And I mean, honestly, the plan for Whistle to Whistle there. Um, we had our running back of Blake and receivers Cam and Zane. Uh, a lot of those guys got a chance to go out there and do some of the things that we see in practice every day. Um, defensively, I mean, I can't talk enough about those guys on that side of the ball. Um, it's really fun to watch that way they pursue the ball, the way you know you got 11 guys flying and, and really doing the best to box in the ball carrier so that way we can, we can get there and rally and tackle those guys and get them down. So really best one the game. And in the game, one of your leaders, quarterback Max Anderson, had two touchdowns through the air, one on the ground as well. Just talk about his performance. Well, it's one of those things we've been working. Well, we, we figure we'll probably see a little bit more of particular coverages, such as cover zero, cover one, and having guys man up. So we've actually spent quite a time working on that and, and trying to get him and the receivers on the same page of when to break the route. So I mean, also we get out there and it pays dividends for the amount of work that we put in. But again, Max is a competitor. He's going to find a way. Um, he does a great job of extending the play out for us. I think there was one of the plays in particular, like he was scrambling, and we're sitting there yell, run, 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 but he was sitting there biding time to get the ball down the field. And I just think also with that game, it shows that not only is he can he handle the running and running part of things, but he also does a better job with uh, the passing game that we spent some time working on. On the other side of the ball, which I know you're familiar with, you play defense <laughs> while at WVU, so you're a defensive guy. So the question is, uh, how unbelievable is it to you to have not one, not two, but three straight shutout performances by your defense? And what do you, I guess, uh, credit that to as well? Well, first, that's that's really kind of unheard of. I mean, regardless who you play, you know, people are going to score. They're going to have something to put out there. But I think one of the things speaks volumes, is, though, even when we got our young guys in there, they're still playing with the same attitudes, same force as our older guys. So, but again, I give credit to guys like Keon Mills, who's in that, in that back end of things, guy that I've actually watched grow up in our program, and he, he really has a command of the communication piece of, of the whole defense. Um, but, I mean, honestly, I, I contribute a lot to, you know, all three, three position levels of the defense, uh, defensive line, the amount of pressure they could put on the, on the quarterback and the line, just the three of those guys. Your linebackers there to clean it up, and then your secondary, which I thought was more of our strong suit coming into the season, has actually lived up to their end of the deal. What are some things, even after this game, that you still feel like your team needs to clean up here? Well, I mean, look at the South Hagerstown one. The one thing that kind of disappointed me was the way we kind of conducted ourselves. You know, we stride ourselves on being a better product in, uh, in the Spring Mills community. We we'll want to put something out there that our community is proud of. And we had some bonehead penalties for guys talking and stuff. When they, I mean, at some point in the game, you just got to close your mouth up and just play. So um, that's one of the things I definitely want to see clean up this week, even though more of a little rivalry situation. We don't have to be something that we're not. So that's, I think that's the biggest piece for me. Even though it's the first one that comes out, the high school playoff uh, football rating system has come out here. And at the top of it in Class 4A is your ball team. Just uh, give us your thoughts about that and what your team needs to do to stay up there. Well, one thing I told them is, uh, you know, when you're sitting up in the top part of the rankings, you, you're not the hunter anymore. You are the hunter. And so it's one of those things. You're going to get everyone's best shot. And with our guys, it's, it means staying humble. We, we can't come to practice. We can't be lackadaisical. We have to work twice as hard to keep where we're at right now. And so, trust me, I tell you, we don't we don't take that for granted at all over some rankings. That's nice and dandy, but the kids need to understand that that comes with a price, and we have to be willing to pay the price to be where we are. And the next team that tries to give their best shot against you guys and give that blemish to you potentially is uh, Musselman this mm-hmm. week, a 
EPAC rivalry. Just tell us about the excitement and your thoughts on this matchup this year. Well, I, honestly, I'm pretty excited for it. I think Coach Thomas has done a wonderful job, what, 10 some years right now. He's going to have those kids ready to play. And I, I can assure you, they're going to bring everything that they have to, to be the ones not only to knock us off and try to end some of the streaks of things that we've been able to do for the first three games. So I think um, our fans, their fans, it'll be a lively place. I think they're also looking back from last year to, to kind of get back from some stuff that we were able to start last year. So it'll be a fun one. When breaking down the film on Musselman, what are some things that you've seen so far that they do well and what are some things that you're willing to share that you're trying to exploit? <laughs> well, I, I think one of the things they do is they're, they're going to make us they're going to make us or, or want to try to stop the run games from us. They'll run a line by the 5-2. They'll play cover zero. Um, and they're going to force us to do things that we don't want to do. And I, I think for us, it's, it's one of those things where we need to stay patient, stick with the game plan, and not freak out and try to do things that, that hasn't got us to where we are right now. Um, but, again, I think they'll fly around defensively. I think they'll bring more pressure and than what we've kind of seen in the past year. Offensively, it's, it is going to be, I think, more of a challenge. Or for us defensively, it'll be more of a challenge because it's 100% uh, job assignment uh, with the single wing and what the, the style of running game they have this year. If we got guys that are in the wrong gap or guys that are that are sinking down too far down the line, it's something that will absolutely make us pay for. It. So we're, we've been preaching a lot this week. You have to stay home. You have to do your job. It's another edition of this uh, rivalry between you and Musselman, and this year, at least when you look at it on paper, you guys are on opposite sides of things in class 4a how, how do you make sure though that your team stays focused and doesn't uh overlook your opponent in muscleman oh yeah well that's that's the one thing that really scares me is like you know what i'm saying when you're on a roll like that you start taking teams for advantage but we have been uh, cracking down on that and again guys like max and keon they've been really that driving force as well of making sure we take advantage of every single practice um we've done a, i think a good job of um, making the most of every day and, and not taking the granted for just going through the motions. So uh, between us and our captains, I think we've done a decent job of, of trying to take advantage of everything. All right, Coach, anything else? If not, I'll get to the fun question for the week, and we will wrap things up. All right, let's do the fun question. All right, fun question this week is uh, what is the most memorable sporting event that you've uh, either attended or been a part of? Oh, I think the most exciting one that I've been a part of was our 2006 uh, Sugar Bowl um, playing against Georgia. Um, I can sit back and remember uh, everyone in the whole nation. I absolutely believed that Georgia was going to come out and win that game, and, and we go out there and stun them. They was like 28-0 to zero the first half, but then they come storming back, um, and then we end up winning the thing like 35-20 or something in that, in that ballpark. But just just the fact that the only people that believed in that game was the ones that sit in that locker room in our state. So that's, that's probably one of the more memorable ones there. All right, Coach Law, thank you for the time. Best of luck this Friday. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir.